Hey, what's going on guys? Cotton here, and the Wings of War update has landed for Heroes and Generals. <laughs> you get it, landed. Anyway, this update includes improved flight mechanics, as well as a bunch of new settings for how you control how you fly the plane, as well as your throttle. The update has a new Tier 2 American plane, whereas the old P-38 Lightning has been moved to the Tier 3 class, as well as the Soviets and the Germans getting their own Tier 3 heavy fighters now. But first, let's have a look at this throttle control, which has three settings now. Now, automatic will reset to default throttle when you're not holding W or S, and it will lock in place when you hold the debug key, such as control or shift. Step, which will remain locked in place unless you adjust the throttle by hitting W or S, each adjustment will add about a third of the throttle uh, from the neutral position, meaning you can move it up three times or down three times, and it just kind of stays locked in place. You can also control this with the thumb buttons on your mouse if you have that, buttons four and five. And smooth works kind of the same way as step, but instead of like the incremental one-third movements, it just moves through the bar like uh, longer you hold the button. So it makes it to where you can kind of fine tune it, I guess. And I believe you can also do that with the mouse keys. It just depends on how long you hold them down. So now flight controls are also in three categories now. Classic, which incorporates the mouse to up and down and the keyboard to left and right. And you can also debug control with left control or left shift and take total control of the plane with the keyboard, as well as turn your mouse into the camera. And now there's camera mode, which will allow for the plane to follow your camera with a bit of a delay. Meaning, wherever you kind of turn your camera, the plane's crosshair will kind of chase that. And your keyboard will control things like your alarians or your rolls. Uh, just, you know, A and D will make you totally roll over left or right. And then mouse mode is pretty much the same as camera mode, but instead of the crosshair chasing the, the camera, you're actually moving the crosshair yourself, so there's a little bit less of a, like a movement delay. It's more immediate with your mouse movements, but you can also use the keyboard to once again do your Alarians and things like that. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me which ones should I use. I think that's really up to you guys. I personally tried all three out in each category myself. And for me, the classic controls work nice for me. I like to be able to hold left control and left shift and be able to just fly straight with W, S, A, and D. And then I also like the step mechanic. I think that that one is just about right. I don't ever really find the need to really fine tune my speed. I think I'm either going neutral or hauling ass to get away from somebody. So step is a good one for me. It stays locked. You don't have to hold control to lock it, nothing like that. Okay, so let's move on to the three new planes of the update. Now first up here, we have the new Soviet Tier 3, or the new Heavy Fighter class, as they're calling it. The, yeah, I cannot pronounce, it's like Pet, Petly Yakov PE-3BIS, I know, ignorant American, I can't pronounce shit. This plane has a standard machine gun, 20mm cannons, and it holds two medium-sized bombs. And this plane also has a rear gunner seat, similar to the uh, recon planes, where you can have somebody in the back covering your ass with a machine gun. Next up, we have the new German Tier 3 heavy fighter, the ME410B-2. Yeah, whatever that means. Alright, this plane also features a standard machine gun, 20mm cannon, and two large size bombs, and a rear-facing gunner seat. And now finally, the American planes got a bit of a shuffle here. The P-38 Lightning that we've had for so long was moved up into the Heavy Fighter tier. But now in its place, we get the new American Tier 2 fighter plane, the P-40N Warhawk. And I know a lot of people were excited about this, and then some people are mad about this. Now, unlike its counterparts, the Warhawk, it has no secondary wing cannons. Instead, it only has a massive ammo load for its nose-mounted guns, and you can actually upgrade the ammo on that. You can either go to, you know, AP or whatever, and it's kind of, it has a really high, you know, RPM on it, and you kind of just have, it's, 
It's more of like a constant damage thing rather than burst fire damaging a plane down with like 20 millimeter cannons. So it's definitely a different way to dogfight. Now the other thing that makes this plane unique is that it has six, yes, that is one, two, three, four, five, six bombs attached to the bottom of this thing. They're tiny bombs like on the Yak, and I think that's where this plane draws a lot of similarities is to the Yak being that it's so small and it has a really high bomb count. So this thing is pretty fun to go carpet bombing with. All right, now some other things that I want to point out here is with these new heavy fighter planes, they're pretty expensive to spawn here. They're sitting at 688 credits a piece. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but let's just say you crash maybe 10 planes in a round, you're already down seven Gs on a repair bill. So you really gotta kinda use these sparingly, maybe pop in support gunner seats here and there. But with that being said, these planes are also worth a lot to kill you're going to get paid a pretty penny to kill them as a pilot as well. So I guess that, I mean, I haven't had a match yet where I've gone negative on earnings. I've always been positive. And I've found that in some matches, if you do exceptionally well and you're gunning down a lot of planes, you're going to make some serious money. I had one round where I banked over 60K with heavy fighters. And I'm like, whoa. There's also a new feature that they added that I don't even remember reading in the patch notes, but now, if you're an old school debug flyer like me, and your plane's flopping around and your center doesn't exactly match your camera, the crosshair will actually move now, staying in line with your line of sight, uh, you know, forward facing from the plane. So when you get out of your camera mode, you're gonna know precisely where you're looking. Now, I love this. I wanted this back in the day just so I could see a little bit better where I'm going to be looking when I get out of free cam mode. Now, another cool add-on is the recon planes have been given bombs now. And for some reason, the Germans got the shaft, Rito. And the German plane only gets one bomb here, while the American and Soviet recon planes, they get two bombs. All the bombs are pretty small sized. The German one might be a medium bomb, but I'm not really sure. There's got to be a reason to why they only got one, but I haven't exactly researched that one yet. So let me know in the comments below if you know how big the, the bomb is on the German recon plane. But all in all, guys, the new flight model actually feels really good. They finally changed the plane physics again. We can finally pull our planes up from a nosedive. We have better nose control with our mouse, you know, fine aiming. I found that flying is fun again. I streamed yesterday. I did about an eight hour stream. Six hours of that was straight heroes and generals flying, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I gotta give a shout out to the devs on this one. It's a really good update, guys. I'm happy with it. You gave me my yak back, so I can't be mad. But you know, hopefully the next update will be even better. Hopefully you guys can get those new maps pushed out so we can start enjoying them. That'd really be nice, but keep up the good work, Rito. And there was also some other miscellaneous changes made with this patch now. They did things like they changed the factory map, some of the spawns, and they added some extra security walls just to provide cover for people moving in, you know, from a distance. And they adjusted the speed of the planes a little bit. You can't fly quite as fast as you could before, but there's still an increased throttle mechanic, which is nice. I like it now. It feels good. But that's about all I got for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little, you know, update video here. The Wings of War is out. Get in here. Start flying with us. It's fun again. Even the recon planes are fun to fly. They're making mad money because they're so cheap to spawn. So, yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.